All right, we are here with actress Rebecca Staub, who has graciously agreed to sit down and do an interview with us. What um, was your first inclination and when that you wanted to be an actress full time? I mean, when I was little, I was just a ham. So, I, I mean, I always wanted to be. I grew up in Omaha, though, mm -hmm. so there's not many opportunities, and even back there, there, there weren't. I and mean, the first time where it was like, I was adamant about it is when I found out that they were doing Little House on the Prairie as a TV series, mm -hmm. um, because I'd read all of those books. I was, I was just the biggest Little House on the Prairie expert. I knew everything. And it was like, I have to go, I have to play Mary. And, um, but again, living in Omaha, there, there wasn't really a way to execute that. So it was never really a, a reality. I'd always loved it in my theater, and I was a dancer, and I'd been in theater in high school and college, and it was never really a potential career. I was a real academic, and it just didn't seem logical to be an actor. It's like I was going to get a real job, and it just kind of... Uh, by accident, I started modeling and ended up going to Europe, intending to stay for three months, and I stayed for three and a half years, and so all the modeling then, when I came to New York, the my very first agent, they just opened a film and TV division, mm -hmm. and they said, hey, go upstairs and talk to Mike. Mike sent me on my very first audition, which is for Loving, my very first audition ever, and I got it, and just started working, <laughs> so it was, it was, uh, yeah, you know, it, it was never really a plan, but then once I started, it just it just took off and yeah. I'm still running. And what are the differences between um, when you first started and today? Uh, like advice to newcomers, like things that maybe somebody told you that may not have been useful or has changed since you started in the acting. I'm just business. a real glutton for information, and I think the advice that I would give is. Um, just to get a lot more information. I mean, a lot of my acting was just really by instinct mm -hmm. because I just kind of started off the cuff. And since that worked for me, I just kind of always relied on that, that um, in retrospect, I think that there's things that I could have probably worked on harder because things just came easy. And so that just always seemed to satisfy me. And in retrospect, I wish that I would have done a lot more work on my work. And so I think that that's a good habit to pick up when you're young is, is a lot of training, whether it's, you know, you know, a scene study or, or voice and and just reading a lot, like getting a, a, a deeper theater um, education. So I, I wished I would have worked harder, even though I worked hard, right. I wish I would have worked harder. What is your standout role for you that you had the most fun playing and why? <sighs> that's always so hard because I had so much fun. Um, you know, I mean, ironically, I just mentioned loving. Mm -hmm. uh, that, I mean, still to this day, really might have been because uh, I was this punk rock teenager and I didn't really know the rules yet. I mean, that was just my first job ever. And the character was a little bit of a scene stealer just because I would always be, <coughs> excuse me, in character. Um, and she was just this sassy, mouthy little uh, teenager. So it was, it was, uh, it was just fun because I could, I could just get away with anything mm -hmm. on camera. And even got to the point sometimes I would be in a scene and I'd go flipping through it. And I'm like, I'm not even, I'm not even in this. And they're like, Yeah, you are. Just go on and do whatever. You know, they just like like me in the background because yeah. I would just always be busy and I always had gum or, you know, I would just mock people in the scenes. That it was <laughs> this, this character just had such an attitude, and I was just given so much freedom with it and I, I kind of didn't know better I didn't know that I shouldn't do that so that was I when I look back that was really fun but I mean I've had god I mean I've had fun I did I was on Ellen when she had her sitcom uh -huh. and <laughs> on the show I married her brother so in TV world I'm Ellen's stepsister That's, yeah hey that was a riot. I have never, that was so much fun because it was a wedding and so they, we, you know, we worked all week and it really felt like a wedding because then everybody was at the show and everybody was there every day and, you know, all the big dinner scenes and the scenes in the church, it was just, it, it really felt like family and she is hilarious and, and warm and welcoming and so it really felt like a real life wedding with a real life family and, and she would just improvise all the time and, and just break into just you know spontaneous monologues and so much of the when I watched that episode back 
there's so many cuts of us laughing as the character, but you can tell we were just busting a gut in, in real life, and they just happened to catch us because she was so she was so wonderful. So that was probably one of the most fun. It never even felt like work. You yeah. know? It's like we would just kind of they just start shooting because everybody was just already in character. And lastly, what advice would you give to somebody who's starting out now that the business is so different um, due to either lack of roles or you know going the soaps have diminished in capacity mm -hmm. of how many there are um, you know you've done extensive work in prime time and everything else so do you have any kind of advice that would lead somebody to finding success in the acting world <sighs> well it's kind of part and parcel of what i said before with just educating yourself mm -hmm. um I think a lot of people make the mistake of thinking, oh, it's just easier, oh, it's just fun, or oh, I'm going to be famous, which isn't what it's about at all. And you can burn yourself out really quickly, and you can burn bridges really quickly. I think the most important thing is to always be 100%, be as prepared as you can for every audition all the time. You can't just go, oh, this one will be easy, or well, uh, there's a number of young girls actually that I mentor right now and I just I don't know I think that people need to approach it very seriously and even if it's a, if it's a student film or you know whether it's TV or film or daytime that um, I, I just think that yeah there's a real just a, I mean to really take it seriously mm -hmm. because sometimes it it's not that adage that, you know, your first impression is the most important, right. and it really is, and a lot of times you don't get second chances, and you just develop bad habits if, if you don't, and so it's like you should always be the person who is the most prepared. You should be the person who, who's worked the hardest for this, because, you know, if you're in a room and there's 12 or 25 people, somebody out of those 25 people worked the hardest on it. Right. Was it you? If it wasn't, you know, you know, you kind of, you know what, then you really don't deserve this. And I feel more confident walking in and just go, I know I, I've worked the hardest on this. And then whether you get it or not doesn't really, doesn't really have anything to do with you, because you have to go in and be your absolute best. And then whatever other factors determine who they choose, you don't have any control over. But you need to have as much control over what you can every single solitary time. Right. And since the parts are very limited these days, making that first impression and being the best that you can be are probably more important than anything. Well, well budgets are tight. You know, time is money. Mm -hmm. And so whether it's a casting director or a director, I mean, they, they want people who are professionals. And so they have to know that, that yeah, you're, you're serious, you're prepared, and with their fewer and fewer roles, that's exactly, you know, that they, they, their choices have to be very precise. And mm -hmm. so yeah, you have to give them the opportunity to know that you are professional and right. dependable because, yeah, they can, they can just pick anybody. And, uh, yeah, I mean, they, they have to really be able to count on, count on you as, as a team member. Perfect. Thank you so much for sitting down with me.